We're visiting Sydney, Australia, and we've all heard that the country was settled by convicts. So we're here to find out the real story about the convicts, and we're starting here today at the barracks here in Sydney. This is one of the last remaining jails that actually housed those settlers, those prisoners that actually founded Australia. So we're gonna go check it out. Between 1788 and 1868, more than 162,000 convicts were transported to Australia. A similar thing happened in the U.S. with more than 50,000 criminals being transported to the early American colonies by 1775. Today, one in five Australians are believed to have a convict ancestor, so understanding the story of these convicts is essential when visiting the country. really interesting. We got in free because of World Pride, which was really nice. But even if you pay, included in your admission is this uh, audio guide. And it's really neat because it tells you the story here on these headphones as you go room to room. It's location specific. And it's a kind of a narrated story about different people and their experiences. We're here halfway through in the courtyard. You can see this is the barracks right behind me. And so far, we've learned a lot about, you know, kind of what it was like coming over from England as a prisoner uh, and the expectations and how horrible that was. 140 day, very tough journey, um, uh, obviously across the ocean. But so far, what we also learned was initially they weren't treated that badly. They were oftentimes left uh, unattended and, and were able to do jobs on the side and that kind of thing. Uh, I think that changes over time. So we're going to go figure out the rest of the story here. Uh, but one of the things that's absolutely apparent here is obviously the impact all this had on the Aboriginal people that were here originally. It's a very sad story that obviously is uh, still going on today. The barracks were built to house up to 600 men, but it was almost always overcrowded. Sometimes there were as many as 1,700 men living in it at any one time. Convicts at the barracks were issued a uniform only twice a year, even though they were frequently stolen by the other inmates. Priceless artifacts of the convict era were preserved by rats, which hid them beneath floorboards to be found almost 200 years later. We're about halfway through the tour and we stopped here and we're actually looking at stuff that was just uh, kind of remaining in the rafters. So this was all found exactly where it stands. And you can see all kind of evidence of what was here and what the prisoners dealt with, including dead rats that are down in here along with other trash. It's really interesting, we've learned a lot. There's this huge uh, room in here with tons of hammocks where they all slept, like 70 of them in this small room. And you really get a feel for what life was like here, along with uh, a lot of the impact that they had uh, as prisoners on this country and the people, which was really tough. It took a lot of resources to build uh, a whole new city. And uh, with that came a lot of destruction of people and resources and that kind of thing. So uh, it's very interesting to see uh, kind of the impact, not only on the prisoners, but on the land and on the people itself here in Sydney. Well, we've been walking around this part of the barracks and for sure the punishment got worse as time went on. Uh, we saw some tough things like irons and chains and that kind of thing. And even one punishment where you were required to be on a continuous treadmill of steps just forever. And they said they'd give them a break for a couple of minutes and then they get back on. So imagine continuously climbing steps for hours and hours and hours. Uh, it was really uh, tough. And then uh, also we've seen the impact of, as time went on, uh, the colonized uh, people coming in and doing terrible things to, uh, to the Aboriginal people. So there's a lot of history here and it's a pretty tough one. We just finished the tour of the barracks and I gotta tell you, it was really, really interesting. We learned so much about how Australia was born and of course all the stories behind that. Um, as you conclude the tour, you get a really good view of kind of the history beyond the convicts and the barracks. And this building was actually used as a women's immigration center 
and then an asylum that did good work. So this building did a lot of good work after it was uh, a convict house and a lot of good came of it. The exhibit actually ends with uh, videos of actual people, descendants of uh, folks that are affiliated with coming through here, either convicts or um, immigrants and other people that were involved, uh, Aboriginal people that were involved in some of the conflicts and that kind of thing. So it's a very interesting perspective and you learn so much about kind of how uh, it all got going here and we're so glad we came. We really recommend you give this place a shot. What's it like in a submarine? We found out by exploring Sydney's connection with the sea. Look for our upcoming video.